There's nothing innocent or neutral about the definition of capitalism. Free enterprise, free markets. Here's the problem with that definition. It doesn't separate capitalism from everything else. And it presents itself as the system committed to freedom, liberty, equality, all of that. Why a definition that isn't very good has become dominant? They therefore do not want to defend a system that looks alarmingly like the very feudalism they thought they had broken from. But then I have to conclude, and so would the defenders of capitalism if they understood the definition of employer-employee, that the promises made during the revolution that established capitalism have never been fulfilled.